is what caused the world to ring like a bell November 11th. It also explains the weird humming heard around the world. It's the largest underwater volcano recently discovered off Madagascar and Africa, the island of Mayotte in the uh, Indian Ocean. No one knew that this was taking place. Geologists discovered the largest underwater volcano explaining the weird hum heard around the world. This is by Laura Gegel on Live Science. It's the research done by the University of Paris. Researchers used multi-beam sonar to find the underwater volcano. Multi-beam sonar. The reflected sonar waves revealed the outline of the underwater volcano which we see in red, and the, gra the gassy plume rising from it. The strange seismic event off the coast of Africa led scientists to this huge finding, very significant, the discovery of the largest underwater volcanic eruption ever recorded. The eruption also may explain the weird seismic event recorded in November 2018, November 11th, we know that. Just off the island of Mayotte, it's located between Madagascar and Mozambique in the Indian Ocean. Researchers described that event as a seismic hum that circled the whole world. So that, I, I was awake. I was looking for a book in my bookshelf, on my bookshelves. And uh, I have a, uh, a huge amphora on a metallic base and uh, as I was reaching up high on the shelves to find a book I th uh, that's when the earthquake struck and it was you know I live in an earthquake area in Greece and immediately what I do subconsciously when an earthquake starts shaking the building I start counting the seconds I count one two three all right I counted over 20 and I said, it, it must be me. I must have uh, shaken the amphora, it shook the book, bookcase and the thing is that the whole thing was shaking for 20 seconds at least. Uh, so I knew it was an earthquake but I said that is too long for an earthquake. Now you can imagine this thing took place all the way half the world away almost and is and I felt it uh, it shook the building for 20 seconds and this thing was felt around the world we actually we are a, we are a small world aren't we it's, it's, it, when something like this affects the whole world this is astonishing so that was November 11th um, the researchers described that event as a seismic hum uh, that circled the world, but no one could figure out what caused it. Well, this, they say, is what caused it. It also uh, explains why the, the earth rang like a bell. Now, for starters, the hum rang at a single ultra-low frequency, which was strange because seismic waves usually rumble at many frequencies. Moreover, there were hardly any detectable P waves or S waves, which usually accompany earthquakes. And incredibly, the island of Mayotte moved a few inches south and east after this event took place. Now scientists have an idea why. This weird seismic hum was like the birth announcement of a new underwater volcano, according to Science Magazine. The underwater volcano is enormous, rising nearly a half a mile from the ocean floor. It's the length of a 3.1 mile race and lies about 31 miles off Mayo's east coast, eastern coast, and it came into being in only six months. We have never seen anything like this. Nathalie Foulier, the leader of an expedition to the site by the research vessel Marion Dufresne, 
who is with the Institute of Geophysics in Paris, IPGP. It's, it's the um, the uh, radar image that we have is from them. This is what she told Science Magazine. In addition to the weird seismic hum, there were other clues that something big was happening. The inhabitants of the French island of Mayotte reported feeling more than 1,800 little earthquakes almost every day since the middle of last summer, including a large magnitude 5.8 earthquake in May of 2018, the largest ever recorded in the region, according to National Geographic report. So how scientists found this? Finding the newborn volcano was an enormous effort, including work from organizations such as the National Center for Scientific Research, CNRS, in France, the IPGP and the French Research Institute for the Exploitation of the Sea, IFREMR, EFREMER, according to a joint statement released May 16. Part of that research included six seismometers placed on the ocean floor, close to the seismic activity, Science Magazine reports, these instruments revealed a tight cluster of earthquakes deep in Earth's crust, likely stemming from a deep magma chamber that's gushing molten rock onto the sea's bottom. This magma chamber may also be shrinking as Mayotte has sunk about 5 inches, that's 13 centimeters, and moved 2.5 inches, that's 10 centimeters, to the east over the past year. So we see how quickly our Earth is moving, don't we? In addition, sonar relieve, it revealed that 1.2 cubic miles, that's 5 cubic kilometers of magma, on the seafloor, as well as plumes of bubble-rich water streaming from the volcano. That's 1.2 cubic miles. Can you understand how huge that is? Rock, uh, as well as plumes of bubble-rich water streaming from the volcano, Rock samples collected from the site may reveal the depth of the magma source as well as the risk of a volcanic eruption. So the volcano is in the Indian Ocean. Mayo's, uh, Mayo is not a stranger to volcanic eruptions, but it's uh, been at least 4,000 years since volcanoes last stirred in this area. The island is part of the Comoro Archipelago Islands created by volcanism. So they're all volcanic islands. As news of the seismic hum and the tiny earthquake spread and the ringing of the bell, like a bell, uh, a group of the, uh, in the uh, in, uh, November 11th earthquake, a group of French researchers posted a draft of a research study on Earth Arvix, Arx, Ar, Arxiv, a non-peer-reviewed site February 2019, positing that the rumblings might have to do with a draining magma chamber. I remember that's what they had said November 11. It, has to do, it probably has to do with some kind of a magma chamber changing position, perhaps emptying, perhaps collapsing. They had said that uh, after the November 11 earthquake that rang the, the earth like a bell. Uh, but researchers still have to publish a peer review study on the events and it remains unclear exactly how the weird hum, earthquakes, and volcano are related. It's also a mystery why volcanoes are found near the tiny island, unlike Hawaii, which formed because of hotspot volcanism roiling there. The volcano near Mayo lies within the ancient rift where Madagascar tore away from eastern Africa long ago. It's possible that fissures from this break are now a cradle for this new volcano. And also, if you look at the map of Africa, that's where, if you extend that fracture, that crack uh, up north, it goes through the Great Rift Valley of Africa that has seen tremendous cracks lately. And the geologists claim that uh, it won't be long until that part of Africa, through earth changes and earthquakes, etc., will be splitting off from Africa. And it's sad because that's uh, the area where the, uh, the Nile River uh, traverses through and goes towards the north, towards Egypt, and empties through the uh, Nile River Valley Delta into the Mediterranean Sea. That's the lifeline of Egypt, is that river. 
uh, basically on, on uh, outside of that river, everything in Egypt is is a desert. So um, that's where this area is. Now, it's strange that the volcano popped up by Mayo, the oldest island in the archipelago. So um, it remains to be seen if this volcano is completely new or whether it sits on an older volcanic structure, the researchers said. In other words, geologists have a lot of work to do and they're eager to get to the bottom of this geologic conundrum. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.